In the last short video, I showed you how to actually set up a basic Aweber form. So now I want to show you how to create a little cleaner looking WordPress form so it actually shows up and so it's more noticeable so you get more opt-ins and so you can draw more attention to your Aweber uh, form that's going to be showing up on your WordPress site. So what you need to do is log into your Aweber account. So you just need to log into your Aweber account. This will take just a moment. And once you're logged into your Aweber account, you will need to make sure that your list is actually set up. So what you're going to want to do is come on over here and select your, um, you know, your actual list. So you're going to want to choose the list that you're working from. And if you don't have a list set up yet, you of course will need to do that in order to complete the previous steps. And so you can just go to create and manage list and just choose create a new list up there at the top. So you will need a list, you know, to do this step. To create the web form, you can just come over here and choose web forms over here. And again, make sure your correct list is selected in that drop down menu. And all you need to do is come down here and choose create web form. And it'll take just a moment for this to load up. So once it once it loads up here, you're going to be looking for the through these templates. And what you want to do is choose show more and you want to choose blog because that's going to give you the best blog related uh, templates basically so that it fits in the sidebar. Um, these are already basically pre set up for this. So uh, what you're going to want to do is choose that. And one example, they have a, a small one here called Tiny. Um, that's good. There's several options to choose from. You can work with, with really any of these. And I'm just going to select Tiny. And you're probably going, well, this one looks really basic. So I'm going to show you here what I'm going to do with it. So it's going to take just a second here to load that up. And all you're going to do is come here and choose Edit Header. And it's going to bring out like a window, basically, like if you were editing in Microsoft Word or something. And I'm just going to center the text here. We're just going to type in, um, you know, free, let's just say free dog training um, ebook, or you could say free 52 page dog training ebook. Sign up now. And so what you can do here is take this text and you could center it. You can make it bold. You can increase the font size of it so it sticks out even more on your blog theme. You can clean it up, you know, if it doesn't look right. And you can also change the color of it right here. So you can just change the color of that text and simply choose OK. And then you can leave everything else as is. You could actually remove the Powered by Aweber if you wanted to. And I recommend you keep the respect your email privacy. That's important. And then just simply choose Go to Step 2. And inside Step 2, it's going to ask you for your form name. So let's just call this um, Fancy Form or something like that, Fancy Form 1. And right here, you would put in your thank you page. So where, where they're going to go after they opt in, is it you know straight to the download page? Is it to a one-time offer? Is it straight to uh, basically you know to a page that tells them to confirm their email? Uh, wherever you're sending them, make sure you fill in that information. And now choose go to step three. And you're just going to choose save web form. That step's important. And once you get to this phase, all you have to do now is go back to your WordPress widget area. So go back to your WordPress administration, select widgets. And once you select widgets, you're just going to want to open up the Aweber web form widget again. And it will take a moment to pull that up. And you're just going to choose um, the form you want to work from. So I'm going to choose fancy form one and select save. So fancy form one and select save. Now I'm going to go back to my website and just refresh and you should see the new form show up. And there it is. This is the new form. It's clean. It'll draw attention and it you know will help you generate some opt-ins with this. You can also again play around inside the design area. Uh, just you know play around with different forms 
under the blog themes and just pick you know pick several of them try to integrate them see if they fit correctly uh, there's you know lots lots of flexibility there so there's 88 different web forms you can actually work with um, you know for your site so lots of blog blog themes that you can do stuff with. So that's step by step how you can actually make a little cleaner looking Aweber opt-in form on your blog.